जंगल जंगल फिर बात चली ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स फैबुलस फेबल्स ऑफ इंडिया स्ट्रिक्टली फॉर किड्स एंड द यंग एट हार्ट तो आप तैयार हैं? आज आप कौन सी कहानी सुनेंगे तो हम आपको बता दें आज आप सुनेंगे कहानी द लायन द कैमल द जैकॉल एंड द क्रो और ये कहानी आपको सुना रहे हैं संजीव दोसाज वंस अ लायन किंग नेम्ड मधोत्कट ruled in the jungles on the foothills of shivalik ranges many kinds of birds and animals inhabited this forest the lion king was a good ruler his advisers included the sharp and swift leopard then a cunning and crafty jackal and a very vigilant black crow was the third adviser one day The Lion King along with his advisers was wandering around in the jungle when they saw a tall camel at a distance. The Lion King was fascinated to see the camel and wondered who this tall animal was. The intelligent crow knew about the camel and said, "Master, it is called a camel." and lives in the villages the crow further suggested that they should take this camel as their prey and eat his flesh but the lion was a good and benevolent king he said no he does not belong to our jungle so he may be treated with all respect as our guest The innocent camel came and bowed before the lion and narrated his story how he had separated from his group. The lion was very sympathetic towards the camel and offered him to stay comfortably in the jungle instead of going back to the village and carry huge loads on his back. The camel happily accepted the offer and began to live there in peace. Time went on smoothly in the jungle. One day, the Lion King got injured very severely. He was unable to go for hunting, and slowly and slowly he was getting weak. All his three friends were all dependent on the lion for their food. The lion told them to find some animal for their food. They tried hard but were unable to catch any such animal which could satisfy the lion's hunger because they could catch only small animals. The jackal thought of a plan. He told the crow that this way all of them would die. How about eating the camel for their food? The crow liked the idea. But Their master had given assurance to the camel for his safety and he knew that the lion king will never agree to their proposal. The cunning jackal said, "Leave that to me. I will manage somehow." So the jackal went to the lion king and said, <coughs> "Master, we have been looking all around the jungle but could not find any animal for you. All of us have not had food for so long and we can hardly walk properly if you agree master to kill the camel his flesh can provide food for all of us the lion got angry and said shame on you it is a sin to think that way but the clever jackal continued his crafty ways and softly said Master, it would indeed be a sin to kill him, but if he offers himself to you as your food, it would then not be a sin to kill him. He further continued saying, "What good are we if we cannot be of any service to our master 
in his times of need. Please kill one of us to save the rest of us. The Lion King was exasperated. Do whatever you think would be the best and now go away and get lost. The Jackal had started his game plan. He returned to the jungle and declared, Our master is sick and weak. If something happens to him, there would not be anyone to protect us. The only way now would be to offer ourselves to him as his food. As was planned, all of them stood before the lion and bowed. The crow said, I offer myself, master. Please eat me to save yourself. The jackal interrupted, You are too small to provide flesh for the master. You have proven your devotion by offering yourself. And he turned towards the Lion King and offered himself in place of the crow. On hearing this, the lion shook his head in refusal. This way, other animals also started offering themselves, but the lion always kept refusing. The innocent camel thought, all of them speak beautifully about offering themselves, but the master refuses to kill any one of them. I shall also seek to impress the master. The camel came forward and offered himself, saying, Master, you cannot eat all of them because they are all carnivores and belong to the same category as you. I offer myself for this noble cause. He bowed before the Lion King and said, Master, you need not kill any of these animals. Please eat me instead. All other animals cheered loudly. Having already been influenced by the crafty jackal, the hungry lion jumped on the camel. Poor camel was killed and eaten by all the animals together. So, you are listening to the story The Lion, The Camel, The Jackal and The Crow. और ये कहानी आप सुन रहे थे संजीव दोसाज से ये कहानी आपको कैसी लगी <laughs> ये आपको बताना है मुझे लिखकर और कहाँ लिखेंगे आप फेसबुक पे आकाशवाणी फीचर्स वाली पेज पर और सुनो बिल्कुल दुखी या निराश मत होना अगर कभी किसी दिन कहानी न सुन पाओ तो हम उसको यूट्यूब पर भी सुनवाते हैं आकाशवाणी ए पर आप ये कहानियाँ दोबारा सुन सकते हैं अपना ख्याल रखना ढेर सारा बाय प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द सेंट्रल इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी फीचर्स यूनिट्स दिस प्रोग्राम केम टू यू फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल सर्विसेज डिवीजन वॉल इंडिया रेडियो जंगल जंगल फिर बात चली